Hey everyone, it is Melissa from Sincerely Creative Mom. Today we're going to work on adding this garland. Um, it is a work garland to a uh, grapevine. So when I say work garland, as you can see, it looks like you can see the stem here. Um, you can see how there's just pieces of uh, the evergreen kind of branch together. And even if you spread that out, it's still not you know, beautiful. These are work garlands where you can add mesh, you can add things into it, right into the actual uh, branches to form a beautiful garland. In this case, we're actually going to add this work form, this work garland to our evergreen, I'm sorry, <laughs> to our grapevine frame, our grapevine wreath base. Uh, so that we can use this as a, first of all, I got it at 90% off, so it would cost me $1.30. Um, and so, you know, um, I, I like to use this sort of things. You could use it for a garland for sure, but we're gonna use it in a, in a grapevine today as a filler almost. But what I like to do first is obviously attach that base, that spine to the grapevine. And all I'm gonna do is um, no specific spacing, no specific uh, pattern. I'm just gonna hook the bottom of my pipe cleaner. Let's zoom you in here. I'm gonna hook the bottom of my pipe cleaner and just kind of hook it in. I'm just gonna hook it in. I don't know how else to say it. Um, I just need to make sure that I'm getting just a little bit of the vine here because I'm gonna be slipping things in with my picks and greenery and some beautiful hydrangeas that'll be in part um, two of this this series uh, but so I don't want to grab too many vines and have that grapevine unable to slip things in so I'm just gonna hook a little tiny piece and by doing so I'm just gonna grab a couple pieces of those uh, the thicker vines not really teeny tiny ones and I'm gonna slide it in and through okay and I am gonna make sure it is secure, so I'm gonna, I am gonna tighten that part and nice and secure so that I can lay these inside. Again, I'm not gonna, there's no certain pattern. I wouldn't go super duper close to each other because then you're, again, you're not taking those same uh, pieces there and, and, and you're taking more of that vine and, and crunching it together so that you can't put more things in. I hope that makes sense. And you'll see how uh, that plays a part in the next in the next video, this one is just strictly to add the garland. So I did go ahead and add pipe cleaners um, to a different frame already, just to kind of eliminate that time. And so you see, so you can see, and then we'll do a couple together. So again, I wasn't paying attention to spacing. It wasn't important. Um, it wasn't part of. Uh, the reason I was putting the pipe cleaners in, I would be paying attention to the spacing, even though it does look kind of spaced. Um, I would be paying attention to the spacing if I was adding mesh to this, if I was adding a certain number of um, florals and I was using the pipe cleaners to add things in or bundles. In this case, it's not. I just don't want them too close together to grab too many pieces of the vine. So again, I'm just gonna slide those in. I hook it in really, hook it not grabbing too many pieces of that vine. And then see here, there's like just a, a lot of thinner pieces. I'm just gonna grab a chunk of those thinner pieces. So I'm not grabbing just one, because one could totally break. And if one of these broke off with everything else connecting, it's not gonna really matter, obviously, but I, I obviously don't want that to happen. Okay, I'm gonna take an end, doesn't matter which end, I'm gonna take an end and start placing this in my grapevine. This doesn't matter, I'm not gonna worry about cutting it off, I'm not gonna worry about anything, you just use this if you were using the garland um, as a work garland. So again, I'm just gonna place that right down in there, take my pipe cleaners, and wrap it around. And I'm not, for now, I'm not gonna cut these off. I'm just gonna worry about getting that garland in. And secure. 
Now again, this is a great filler. These garlands come in so many different shapes, sizes, textures, colors. It doesn't necessarily have to be the green. Um, you'll see in the other video where we are gonna use bits and pieces, leftover pieces um, of a different garland uh, for filler pieces. So instead of using it as a garland, I'm gonna pick those pieces apart and make them into something a little bit different. But when you see these, a lot of people don't know what to do with them, how to use them. And so they end up, you know, in your big box stores, they're ending up on the seriously discounted clearance uh, pricing. And so there's so many great things. This particular garland would definitely be a great piece to use, as I mentioned a couple times already, as a, as a work garland, uh, because the branches are so full, they're so thick, they, um, they, are, uh, they have a little bit of flocking on them. It's textured, so it's not just the thick branches, it's also, you know, the different style of branches. So it, the, this piece itself already starts as a really good piece to work with. Um, not that I you know, wouldn't use it that way, I'm just choosing to use it as a base in our hydrangea grapevine. I'm gonna go all the way around and then I'm gonna go back to this one and then I'll cut off the rest just so that there's a little bit of an overlap there and not an opportunity to uh, have some missing branches. And then also where we put in the extra where it kind of overlaps, we might have a little bit of extra room there to um, extend and might be where we could add a bow. I'm going to cut off right at that extra piece here and usually these are pretty easy but then also look now I have still a nice decent sized piece to use it as it was intended um, I might put a little bit of glue on that end and fold it up so that it doesn't unravel because it will it's a thread wrapped garland which again another very nice feature uh, but it will unravel so I'm just going to do that right now before we go forward with our with our fluffing there now I don't have to worry about it completely unraveling I can add a little bit of glue to that end to keep it from completely coming apart and that way we can use it again and not only that we still have the top I hope the other end still has a loop there well it doesn't we cut off the wrong side oh, that's okay that's all right. Did we? Yeah, we did. Um, that's okay. We can add, of course, obviously, we can add a loop to, to use it. So this isn't going to go to waste. Also, what you can do, so many things, you can use this as a base for your uh, tablescape. You can do so many things with this. But we're going to set it aside for now. And I'm going to come right back to our garland here. Now, red. I chose red on purpose so that it was easier for teaching. Um, and you know the visual but obviously I wouldn't use red um, if I was just starting because you, you don't want to see that color right you don't want to see that color and so all I'm going to do now before we get going is I'm going to add that end that last piece I'm going to add that last piece right back into the end here so I have a little more in this area which is fine and then I'm just going to spread these apart so that when we come in in the next segment with our uh, hydrangeas we do have everything kind of ready for us and we don't have to go sifting for you know let me just move this over we don't have to go sifting for the pieces that we're looking for so I'm just going to make sure I spread those apart and you can also see here how that's going to make our grapevine we started off on a 16 inch grapevine so it's gonna make our grapevine automatically, our style, our design, whatever you wanna call it, it's gonna grow our design instantly. So it's gonna expand that past its original sight line, which lets us know, hey, we can make this a little bit bigger, or, and you'll see in the next video what happens um, if we don't want to make it quite that big. And so here's where we overlapped. Gonna put some of those on the inside. 
So again, this comes in so many different gar the garlands. It could come. You could be working with a. Um, you could be working with a. Um, ornament garland. We don't need too many of those on the inside. We will need some on the outside here to funnel through. So let's put those longer pieces because this might be where we put a bow. So we have a nice big fan out here. But this is where we're starting with. Nice and easy. Again, as a filler, especially since I was able to get them super, super, super cheap um, on the clearance sections. Uh, I always keep an eye on those garlands because we can use them for so many things. Um, right now, depending on when you're watching, of course, the fall season is as far as um, supplies in retail stores, this fall season is coming to end and, and those who haven't had their Christmas out already are definitely getting ready to discount all those fall things and, and bring in, make room for the, for the Christmas. So if you haven't been watching those big box stores now, even our online friends, uh, make sure you're keeping an eye on them kind of periodically so that you can take advantage of those sales. Uh, again, it's Melissa from Sincerely Creative Mom. A list of our directory, our favorite tools, our favorite suppliers, all can be found at learnfrommelissa.com. Follow me over into the next video here on our channel so that you can see how this turns out. I'll see you soon.